Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video we are going to talk about Option Greeks and how Option Greeks is going to affect the option prices during trading. We had already made a simple video on basics of Option Greeks where we had covered all the four Option Greeks Delta, Gamma, Theta and Vega. So we will also be attaching the link to that video in the description. In case you haven't watched that video, I would recommend you to watch that video first and continue with this. So in this video, we'll be going little towards the advanced concepts where we are going to see impact of these Option Greeks on the option prices real time. So even though we have done a basics video where we have covered the basics in depth, so we'll be starting off this video with a summary of Option Greeks and how exactly they will impact the prices. And later we are going to move towards certain live examples where we will see what kind of options will react to what way because of Option Greeks. The most important question which we get to hear is, is Greeks really necessary for us to become better option traders? The answer to this is no. You can definitely trade options without having any idea about Greeks. But if you have idea about Greeks, it is definitely going to help you plan your trade better. In the sense, it is going to help you pick the right strikes depending on what is your view on the market. So as we move ahead in this video, we will be discussing more about that and you will get a clear idea on what exactly I mean by this. And not just that, uh, so I often use this example. Let's say you go and end up purchasing a PC. When you purchase a PC, you will run all kinds of application on this PC. But how many of us here really know how the RAM functions, how a motherboard functions or how a processor functions? Hardly few of us really know about it. Without having to know how a processor or a RAM works, all of us here can end up using a PC. Similarly, uh, when it comes to trading also, without having to understand how exactly Greeks work, you can still end up trading. But what is the advantage? The advantage of knowing Greeks is that you can plan your trade better. So what do I really mean by this? Let's say I want to build a gaming PC. So when I want to build a gaming PC, I want the gaming PC to be really powerful, first thing. Second one, I want it to have better graphics, a high-end processor which will help me perform better. But if I am building a work PC, so I really do not need so much of sophistication in my PC. I am okay with a mid-end processor. It's okay even not to have a graphic card or a very simple or a basic graphic card. Maybe a 8 GB or a 16 GB RAM might do. But if I'm building a gaming PC, I would need at least a 32 GB RAM with a very sophisticated graphic card and a very high-end processor. So now when I know more about what the processors are, what the graphic card is, how much RAM is required for what kind of performance, it will help me build my PC better. So in the sense, let's say I'm building a work PC and for this, if I end up using high-end graphic card and high-end processor and lot of RAM, to be honest, it is going to be useless. In the sense, I will be spending much more. My simple work task of let's say using Excel PowerPoint or checking email or doing trading won't really require such kind of high-end processing. But maybe let's say I'm doing video editing, for that I would require little high-end processor and a better graphic card. So similarly, uh, let's say you are planning your trade. So you have a particular view in the market. So you can definitely, by knowing Greeks, get to understand what strike selection would suit your trade the best. So this is what we are going to learn in this video as we move forward. And for this video, we'll be using Sensible for analytics and knowing the option Greeks. And later, we'll be doing some live examples where we'll be taking the Greek data and getting to know the impact of these option Greeks on option prices. And one more thing, if you in case do not use Sensible, you can definitely check it out using the link in the description and you will be getting special offers on the purchase. So now without further ado, let's quickly get on to the video and meanwhile if you are liking the content on this channel, do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining. Hey everyone, welcome to this video on Option Greeks. First, we'll be starting off this video by covering the basics of Option Greeks. So I'll just be summarizing very quickly and later we'll be moving towards the actual video where we'll try to understand the impact of Option Greeks on 
the option prices and trading. So let us start off by looking at the level of Nifty and also call option prices. Right now, Nifty is trading around 17,862 and 18,000 call option prices are around 65 rupees. And on top of that, it also has a 22% probability of expiring in the money. So when you say probability of profit, what is the probability that this particular call option will end up expiring in the money? So that means there's only 22% chance that this will actually expire in the money. So let's make a quick note of this. So right now, Nifty is 17,862. We are looking at 18,000 call option, which is trading around 65 rupees and it has a 22% probability of expiring in the money, right? So given this fact, now we'll try to understand the basics of option creeks. So let us say tomorrow market actually ends up going higher. So from 17,862, let us say it goes to 17,950. So almost around 100 points, the market ended up moving. So given this, do you think the probability of profit will still remain 22%? So market has moved 100 points in our favor. And do you still think the probability of 18,000 call option expiring in the money still remains the same? The answer to that is no. Because the market is moving in our direction, there might be a possibility that the probability of profit from 22% would have increased to say 40%. So let's say uh, tomorrow market moves towards uh, 18,000. So what is the probability of profit? It might have increased to around 50%. So similarly, let's say market moves towards 18,100. What is the probability of expiring in the money? Let's say 67%. So as the market starts to move higher in our direction, obviously the probability of this particular strike price that is 18,000 CE expiring in the money increases. So that's the reason. Today, a buyer has agreed to buy at 65 and the seller has agreed to sell at 65 when Nifty is trading at 17,860, right? So tomorrow, let's say Nifty goes to 17,950, right? So that means Nifty has moved 100 points in favor of the buyer. Let's say there are new people who are coming and entering this option contract. Do you think still the seller would be ready to sell the option at 65 knowing that his chance of making money has decreased from 78% to just around 60%. Initially for the seller, the probability was 78%. So if the option is expiring OTM, then the seller makes money and it was initially 78%. But since the market has gone up, now it has just become around 60% because there is a 40% probability of profit or probability of 18,000 call option expiring in the money. And that's the reason the seller will no longer be ready to take 65 rupees as his premium. Rather, he will demand higher premium. So he will tell, okay, 65 is too less. I might want around at least 80 or 90 rupees to compensate my risk. Because back then I only had 22% chance of losing money. But right now the chance of losing money has increased to 40%. So that's the reason you pay me some more premium. This will bring us to the first Greek that is Delta. So Delta is just going to measure what is going to be the increase in the premium because the market has moved. In this case, the market has moved 100 points higher towards 18,000. So Delta is going to tell if the market is moving 100 points, what is the change in the option prices or what is the expected change in the option price? Let's take a quick look at that. So when we come to Sensible, you can see the Delta of this particular option is 0.3. 3, 1. That means for every 1 rupee increase in Nifty, this particular option is going to go up by 31 paisa. That means in this case, the market is going almost around 100 rupees higher. That means tomorrow, if the market is opening around 17,950, then we can expect 18,000 call option to trade at 65 plus, we got to know the delta is 0.3 into 100. And this is going to be 30 rupees. So we can expect this particular option to trade at 95 rupees. From Delta, we got to know what can be the expected price of this particular option that is 18,000 call option if Nifty is going to move up by 
100 points. So based on this, we understood the expected price of 18,000 call option is going to be around 95 rupees if Nifty ends up trading at 17,950. So we can see that since the probability of profit for seller has come down or the probability of loss for the seller has gone up, he will now be demanding 95 rupees instead of 65 rupees previously because there are higher chances of him making a loss. So delta is going to more or less measure if market is going up or down one point in a particular direction, it might be one point higher or one point lower, what will be the estimated change in the option price? So this is the basics of delta. So now we'll come to the second Greek and the second Greek is called as gamma. Gamma as a Greek is the second derivative of delta. So what do I actually mean by this? So when we go back to sensible option chain and look at the delta over here, so you can see that the OTM options, so as I see 18,300 call option, 18,200 call option, the delta is very less. So right now the delta of 18,200 is 0.13, delta of 18,000 is 0.31 and similarly delta of 17,800 is 0.55. So that means we get to see that if Nifty actually starts coming higher, that means 18,000 call option delta is not going to stay at 0.31, rather it is going to increase. So from 0.31, if tomorrow Nifty is going to come up by 50 points, it is going to increase to 0.37. Let's say later it is going to come up by another 50 points, then it is going to increase to 0.43. That means if Nifty starts to come closer to our strike price, in this case 18,000, so it is not just a price, along with the price, the rate of change of the price is also going to increase. So in this case, uh, let's take 18,000 CE itself. So we know that the delta is 0 0.31 and the gamma we can see is 0 0.0011. That means for every single point move, the delta is going to increase by 0 0.0011. If there is two points move, then it is going to increase by 0.0022 or if there is five point move, 0.0055. So the thing is, gamma is going to make the delta increase. So for a 50 point move, it is going to increase to 0.05. So you can see that when we actually do the math. So now the thing is, uh, when we actually try to understand this better, so we know that right now, 18,000 call option delta is 0 0.37. From 17,862, let's say we end up moving 50 points higher, then the delta of 18,000 call option should change to 0 0.37. So let us try to understand this better by using the example. So we know since the gamma is 0 0.0011, so the delta right now is 0 0.31 plus, so we are going up by 50 points, so since we are going up by 50 points, it will be 50 into 0 0.0011. When we actually do this math, we are going to get a value of 0 0.365 or 0 0.37. So you can see that because of gamma, the delta actually ends up increasing. So in this case, it went from 0.31 to 0.37. So if there is another 50 point increase, it is going to increase to 0 0.43, 0 0.49, 0 0.55 and so on. So when the option moves from OTM to ATM or ITM, right? So we see that let's say a 10 rupee, 20 rupee option exploding all the way to 200 rupees, 300 rupees. This is mainly possible because of gamma. When the market starts to go up, on one side we have the delta which is pushing the option prices higher. On the other hand, we also have the gamma which is making the delta also increase which will add the compounding effect to our options. So this is the second Greek which is gamma. So now we are going to try to understand the third and the fourth Greek quickly. So the third one is uh, theta. So this is the favorite for the option sellers because this is what is actually going to help them make some money. So uh, let's again come back to this example where we are talking about 18,000 CE and since today is Sunday, we still have four more days to expiry. That means in the next four days, if market does not go up 18,000, then option buyer is going to lose all his money, right? And this is where the effect of theta actually starts to kick in. So what do I actually mean by this? Let us say or let us assume by chance 
Monday or tomorrow, the market ends up completely flat. If there is a huge volatility uh, during the day. Market might go 50 points, 70 points higher, then come down by 150 points and then go up by another 70 points and end totally flat. Let's say it ends up closing at 17,860, right? So if market ends up totally flat, then everything remains the same. Nothing changes except for the days to expiry. The days to expiry suddenly from four days ends up becoming three days. So what does this actually mean or how will it impact the option prices? So now the thing is, initially there were four days to expiry and the probability of profit was 22, right? So there was four more days left for Nifty to move 150 points and expire in the money. But right now, since the Nifty has remained flat, there is only three more days left. Do you think the probability of profit is going to stay the same? It is going to still be at 22%? The answer is no. Because the market has not moved anywhere. Initially, we had four days for Nifty to move 150 points. But right now, we only have three days for nifty to move 150 points hence the probability might fall from 22 percent to let's say 15 percent because market has to cover the same distance in next three days alone so assuming that the probability falls from 22 percent to 15 percent now the option buyer will be like okay i was ready to pay 65 rupees when I had a probability of 22%. But right now, my probability has dropped to just around 15%. So I am no longer going to pay you 65 rupees. Rather, I'll just end up paying you around 40 rupees. So the thing is, uh, when we come to Sensible and look at the theta, so the theta is 10 rupees. So tomorrow, if Nifty is not going to move anywhere and it remains totally flat. So we saw the theta was negative 10. That means the option price is by default going to fall from 65 minus 10, which is going to be 55 rupees. So it is just going to come down to 55 rupees without having to do anything, just because the days to expiry has come down and the probability for an option buyer to make money has also come down. And it's the reason any new option buyer who is entering the contract fresh would demand to pay lesser because his chance of making money has come down. So now we are going to quickly move on to the last and the fourth creek what we are going to discuss today and that is Vega. Vega actually is a very simple concept. So let's say market right now is uh, not volatile at all. So market is very flat and not volatile. So slow up and down movements are there. In second case, let's assume the market is extremely volatile. So market is moving up down very erratically. So now in which case do you think there's higher chances of market going to 18,000? So in case number one or case number two? So obviously case number two. So if market is moving erratically, then there is a higher chance that the market will end up going to 18,000 compared to market not moving at all, right? So if the market is very volatile, the seller is going to tell the probability of me losing money is just around 22% as of now. But if the volatility ends up going higher, then it might increase to, let's say, 40%. So there's a higher chance that the buyer will end up making money if the market becomes very volatile. And obviously, what will the seller do? He will demand for higher premiums. He's going to tell, okay, since the market is so volatile, I am not going to be happy with the 65 rupees. So I would definitely expect, say, 75 rupees or 80 rupees. And this is essentially what Vega is going to do. It is going to measure the change in the option price because of one point increase in the volatility. So here, volatility, we mean IV. Again, when we open Sensible right over here and actually look at the Vega for 18,000 call option. So the Vega is around 8. That means tomorrow, if the volatility or IV of this particular option is going to increase by one point. So by default, this particular option would trade at 65 plus 8, 
which is going to be 73 rupees. So there might be uh, instances where you might have observed if the market starts to fall suddenly, the call option won't end up losing premium very fast. But on the other side, the put option will end up exploding. Even though the market is going against the call option, the delta is making the call option lose money, the theta is making the call option lose money, there is still the vega which will actually end up supporting the option prices. When we come to the put option, first we have the delta which is actually helping the put option increase. Then we have the effect of gamma which will make it further increase. And then finally, due to the effect of vega, the option prices is going to increase even further. So that's the reason we see that the put options are going to explode whereas the call options are not going to lose at the same rate and this is because of vega similarly if the volatility decreases then we'll see both put option and call option end up losing their premiums in the first option greeks video we have discussed this much in detail so this is just a quick brief on the basic option greeks and how they are going to impact the option price so now we are going to see when all of them come together, how it is going to impact the option and also our trading. So when we understand these creeks in depth, it is going to help us choose our option strikes better depending on what we are actually looking for. So let's uh, now quickly move on to that aspect and try to understand if all the option creeks come together, how an option price is going to react and what kind of options we should be choosing in what circumstance. So now let us just try to understand various scenarios and how an option premium might behave because of creeks. So let us uh, consider scenario number one when the market ends up going higher by 1%. So we are going to consider the in the money call option, put option, at the money call option, put option and out of money call option, put option for this example. So let us consider a case where market ends up going higher by 1%. So we know Nifty currently is trading at 17,862. So here we have considered in the money C, which is 17,700, in the money P, which is 18,000, similarly at the money C E and P and out of money C E and P. Along with that, we have also noted down the respective prices. So the price of 17,700 C E as of today is 217, this is 225 and so on. In terms of points, it will be close to around 175 points. So now if the market is going up by 175 points, so what is going to happen to in the money C E? Because of delta, the price of CE is going to go up. But how much is it going to go up is something which we are going to see. So if the market is going up by 175 points, so then what is going to happen to the delta of CE? The delta of CE is always positive. Hence, the call option is going to get a positive impact, whereas a put option is going to have a negative impact. So now uh, when I actually check 17700 call option delta, it is 0.66. That means this particular call option is going to go up by 175 into 0.66, which is around 115 points. So let's make a quick note of that. So one more thing, uh, what you have to note here is I haven't considered the effect of karma because that is going to complicate the calculations. So technically, it should have been much more than 115 points, but for simplification purpose, we are going to consider this to be 115 points. So similarly, 18,000 put option delta is 0 0.69, minus 0 0.69. That means if Nifty is going up by 175 points, so when we multiply 175 into minus 0 0.69, we are going to get around 120 points. So this is going to be much lesser than 120 points because of effect of gamma. So it might be somewhere around 105 or 108 points, but we are going to consider it to be 120 because of simplification and calculation. So similarly, we are going to note down the effect of delta for at the money CE as well as out of money CE along with the put options. So now I have done a quick calculation regarding delta. So we have noted that if market is going up by 175 points, then the delta is going to impact the options as follows. This is going to go up by 115 points. This is going to go down by negative 120 points and so on. So here we haven't considered the effect of gamma because that is going to slightly complicate the calculations. So now generally when the market is going up, 
This is something uh, which you have to note while trading. So whenever the market is going up, let's say by half percent or 0.75 percent, the volatility decreases. So the market is going up because there is less of uncertainty. If the uncertainty is very much, then the VIX is going to increase and the market will be very volatile. If the market is going up gradually, then the volatility decreases. So generally, whenever the market usually ends up going higher, slightly so if the market just randomly shoots up by three percent or four percent then the premiums are also going to shoot up to next level so considering that the market is just going up by 0.75 percent or one percent the vega is most likely to decrease so why is it going to decrease because the market is going up slowly because there is less of uncertainty and when there's less of uncertainty there will be less of volatility so this is something which you have to note so when there is a huge gap up or a huge gap down then generally the vega will end up increasing especially whenever there is a gap down you generally put a positive vega you never put a negative vega because whenever the market is gapping up one percent or one and a half percent it would generally be because of fear so there'll be fear which will be going up volatility will be going up the option premiums will be going up so in this case in the case which we are considering the market has gone up by 175 points and that's the reason so let us uh, consider it iv will go crashing down by one point so iv of all the options are going to decrease by one point this is just an assumption so as we can see 17700 has a vega of eight similarly 17850 has a vega of nine 18,000 also has a vega of 8. So vega is generally going to remain same for both call and put. So you can see here 17,700 both on the call side and put side has the same vega. Similarly 17,850 and 18,000. So that means since the volatility is coming down because of vega, the option prices are going to go down. Here we are expecting one point decrease in volatility. So that will lead to 8 points decrease in this particular option price, 8 point decrease in in the money PE price, 9 points decrease in at the money C price, 9 points decrease in at the money PE price, another 8 point decrease in OTMC and another 8 point decrease in OTMP. So how did we derive at these numbers? So this is something which we ended up checking. So finally we are now coming to the theta which is option sellers favorite so let's see the impact of theta on option price so when we look at theta first we'll look at the call option theta so this has 11 points 11 points and 10 points so let's uh, quickly make a note of that so right over here uh, we have the results so what i have done is uh, to calculate the final price let's say here the final price is 313 that means for the current price 217 i have added 115 I have subtracted the effect of vega which is uh, minus 8 and effect of theta which is minus 11 right so then we arrive at the final price which is 313 we'll get to see the total change in percentage is going to be 44.2 so similarly i have done calculations in all other columns as well but one thing we have to note since we haven't considered the effect of gamma the prices of all these options the final prices of all these options is going to be slightly higher so instead of 313 this might be something like 323 this can be something like 95 to 100 and similarly instead of this being at 3 it can be something around uh, 8 or 10 but all i want to do here is give you an idea of what exactly is going on so now uh, you know for 1% move, what is your expected rate of change of your option prices? So you can see that when the market is actually going higher, your in the money put option is losing the least in terms of percentage, whereas your maximum gain is from ATM call option. Let's say you're going to go naked long, so then maybe an ATM CE can be better than OTM CE for 1% move. Maybe for 2% move, an OTM CE can be better than ATM CE. So since you know uh, where the options might end up going and why exactly the options might behave the way they do. So considering that you are extremely bullish tomorrow, this can be your option prices. So this can be the change in your option prices. It might be slightly here and there but because the gamma is totally ignored. But this is going to be approximately your change in option prices if we are going higher by 175 points tomorrow.
So we can actually check this in live market. So similarly, we can also check for different percentage moves. So instead of uh, maybe 1%, we can check for 0.5%. So here I quickly did calculations for 0.5%, assuming it is around 90 points. I haven't changed any other assumptions regarding the volatility. I still have assumed even with a 0.5% up move, the volatility is going to drop by one point. And because of that, the Vega is going to remain the same. And the theta, obviously, whether uh, the Vega is going to go up or even delta is going to go up, it is always going to be the same. And delta, we have considered only for 90 points. So the delta is definitely going to be the same. But the impact of delta is going to change because of change in points. So previously, we had 175 points. But right now, we only have 90 points. Let us assume you had done a in the money long strangle, at the money long straddle and out of money long strangle. For the same move, for the same move of 90 points, the calls still end up going higher by 17%, whereas puts only decrease 34%. You will definitely lose money. There is no second doubt about it. But you can also see the money what you're losing is much lesser. It's just around 17%. Whereas when we go to at the money, so we clearly get to see that we are gaining 17% from calls, no doubt about it, but we are losing 45% from puts, which is almost around negative 27%. And similarly, when we come to OTM, we do see from calls, we end up gaining only 5%, whereas from puts, we end up losing around 61%, which is negative 55%. So now we can clearly see the impact of Greeks and how it is going to affect the option prices under different scenario. When we saw when the market was going up by 100 points, OTMC didn't actually look that bad. It was going up almost at the same rate of ITM or ATMC. But the moment we changed from 175 points to just around 90 points or let's say from 1% to 0.5%, the scenario completely changes. We get to see that ITMC is outperforming OTMC by a huge margin and even in the money PE is outperforming OTM PE by a very huge margin. So now, uh, given the fact that we know how exactly we can calculate the change in percentage of options for a particular move in the spot. So tomorrow, just make a plan. What are you expecting from the market? Are you expecting the market to go up by 1%, 1.5% or 0.5%? Or similarly, it can be the other way down. Let's say you're expecting the market to go down by 1%. So that time, the Vega is going to be positive because there will be increase in volatility. So just check what is going to be the impact on the option prices because of Vega. And when you actually look at it, so you will be shocked that under different scenarios, based on what is your view, you can end up choosing options. Let's say you're expecting 1% gap down. So maybe because of increase in Vega, an OTM put option can actually be better than ITM or ATM put option. And this is very much possible because when market goes down, the IV increases and Vega becomes positive. Right now, the Vega is negative because the volatility is decreasing. So this way, you can test it out. You can test out different scenarios. And I would suggest uh, not to bother too much about Gamma unless the move is very high. Let's say you're considering, say, a 150-200 point move, then Gamma is definitely going to have some kind of an effect. But if you're considering, say, 50 point move or 70 point move, so I would suggest that Gamma is not going to play a key role here or a major role here unless the move is really big. So as we come to the end of this video, I'm just going to summarize. In this video, we just learned the basics of Greek and how it is going to impact the option prices. And then we also saw how all these Greeks are going to act together to help us understand what would be the impact or what would be the change in option prices for a particular move in the underlying. Once we know that, it becomes easy for us to make a decision regarding what strikes to choose based on where we think the market is headed. If I expect the market to go up by, let's say, around 2%, I would rather sell an OTM put or end up buying an OTM call. So my first option would be buy an OTM call because the impact of 2% move is going to be huge. Similarly, if I'm expecting the market to consolidate, let's say uh, just go up by 
0.5% or 0.7%. So I would again go with either OTM or I would go with ATM. So I would completely avoid ITM. So you can actually try this out and work around and see what are the results you get and also whether it actually helped you to make a better decision during trade. And it will also help you actually understand uh, why exactly option premiums sometimes behave the way they do. So I hope uh, you have liked this video and we also come to the end of this video. And if you have liked it, then do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining.